They are showing me the presidential suites. Hello YouTube, Sawade Krap. I am G from Hotelieville and today I'm showing you the daily pass day pass at the Hyatt Regency Bangkok Sukhumvit. The pool has this large floor area that's underwater. It's quite nice if you want to get used to the water temperature before you actually get into the pool. Not that the water is cold by the way, it's actually really really nice. I'm enjoying this pool very much. It's not just a regular pool, it's almost like a little play area. These jacuzzis are really cool too. There's a very nice smoking section and should it rain, there's also a very comfortable undercover area where you can chill until the rain passes. So in addition to the nice leafy trees over here, they also have this vertical garden which really does hide a lot of the buildings around you. The service here at the Hyde Regency is fantastic. The staff are really great, they take care of absolutely everything for you. I was striking up a conversation with the gardeners responsible for this vertical garden over here and even they were so nice. There are a couple of ways to get here. Take the sky train, get off at BTS Nana, take exit 3, do not go down to the street level because there is a skywalk which conveniently connects with the hotel. By the way, BTS Asok is also within walking distance from the hotel. Since the hotel entrance is in Sukhumvit Road, there are many taxis and buses available too. Apparently, you can even get here by boat. Yes, I was told that Nana Shart Pier is in Soy 13 and the hotel is located right on the corner of Sukhumvit and Soy 13. Today, I arrived by car, which is great because the hotel has free, safe, undercover parking for day pass guests too. Do remember that you're going to have to get your parking ticket stamped at reception before you leave. Using my own transportation was easy. I arrived at the hotel and parked on the M floor. Then I took the elevator down to the ground floor. After I did the whole COVID thing, I walked up to reception and that is where I checked in. The day pass check-in procedure works like this. You walk up to reception and you show them your email confirmation. They will have you sign in and they actually issue you with a key card here which gives you access to the sixth floor where the fitness center is as well as the locker rooms and of course the swimming pool. I was asked to hand over my passport which they keep at reception until you check out and that's something I just don't do. Fortunately they are willing to accept any other photo ID so whether you have a student card or a driver's license or anything else with a photo on it they are willing to take that and keep that as security until you check out. This is the first day pass hotel I've been to where they actually serve you a welcome drink. So when you exit the elevators you might as well just come to the left hand side because that is where the locker rooms are. Now I don't make a habit of filming inside locker rooms but there's nobody inside here and I do want to show you how nice it is in here. There is a bunch of amenities inside this locker room. There are toothbrushes, toothpaste, razors, uh, shaving cream, we've got cotton buds, shower caps, baby powder, body lotion, even hair gel and hairspray. I have to show you the showers, they are huge. Down this way is the hotel's fitness center. That however is not included in the day pass, but you are allowed to use it if you pay. It's gonna cost you 500 Thai baht. You need to wear proper gym clothes. I know these machines, Life Fitness. My gym has them too. 
you can watch Netflix or YouTube. That's the only way I get through a one hour running session on a treadmill. I've already spent some time here and I can honestly say it's a very snazzy hotel. The hotel is very new. It opened just two years ago in late 2018 and it has 273 rooms. I exchanged a couple of emails and phone calls with this hotel before coming here and communication was really good. I ordered a grilled cheese and ham sandwich which comes with french fries. They also brought tomato sauce and mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise, I'm joking. I love mayonnaise with my french fries and this is a really good mayonnaise too. Yeah, I love this mayonnaise. They certainly did not skimp on the ham and cheese. There's a healthy serving of toppings on this sandwich and it's grilled to perfection. If this is the first time you're watching one of my day pass videos, then let me explain to you how this works. If you've seen my day pass videos before, then do stay tuned because I have a surprise for you. So you're paying for the privilege of using the hotel swimming pool, not just any hotel, a nice five-star hotel in this case. There might be other benefits included too. For instance, at most hotels, you can use the fitness center, steam room, sauna, etc. For every day pass I've booked so far, which is about 11 or 12 of them in total, I use the company called Daily Pass. I will put the link to their website in the description below. On their website, you can purchase vouchers for different values. For instance, you can pay 1,000 Thai baht and then they give you a voucher for 1,250 Thai baht. This means that you can use the pool and you can eat and drink up to the value of 1,250 Thai baht. Yes, that's right. They are, in essence, giving you an additional 250 Thai baht to use at the hotel. And here's the surprise. They gave me my own promo code. If you use my code, Hotel Evel, you will get an additional 15% off your purchase. I put together a playlist of all of these day passes from Daily Pass, and there's a link to that in the description below. If you are not yet a subscriber to my channel, then please do consider subscribing. Your support goes a long way. And do make sure that you click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of my next video. If you're enjoying this video, then please click like. And do leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of this hotel. So let me tell you what I'm having. The things which look like chicken wings, they are chicken wings. I've got to read this. It's a Peak Guy Tort. It is crispy chicken wings with caramelized chili sauce. And that is listed as 240 Thai baht on the menu. And the cocktail I'm having is a mad mango. It is a little bit on the pricey side at 400 Thai baht. That's excluding VAT and service charge. But this honestly is one of the best cocktails I've had in a long time. What I want to do is run you through the menu real quick. So this is the poolside menu. And there are coffees, teas, um, there are soft drinks, mineral water, by the way, a soft drink's gonna cost you 140 Thai baht. There are beers, locals, as well as important and craft beers. Wine by the glass or per bottle. There's a couple of cocktails. Uh, plenty of spirits and liqueurs. And the food menu is rather small. There are uh, five Western dishes and then about eight Thai dishes and two desserts. I am absolutely delighted that I decided to come to the Hyatt Regency today. This hotel has just been phenomenal. There are a few other things you can do around here too. Nana Plaza, the red light district, is just down the road. Benjakiti Park, a beautiful park. Lots of space to go walking, running, cycling or just relax on the lawns. That's around here too. And of course, Terminal 21, a rather large and a very funky actually 
shopping mall is also just down the road. And of course, there are a multitude of restaurants and bars around here. The Wi-Fi is good. I watched one of my series on Netflix and I had no problems whatsoever with bandwidth. Sign-in was easy, although I was signed out at some point and when I tried to sign back in, then it told me that the voucher has expired. However, the barman here by the pool area did give me another password which they use for the fitness center and that seems to work very well. The pool area is certainly very nice and that made me curious as to what the rooms might look like. So I asked management if they could show me one and they are showing me the presidential suite. 208 square meters of complete opulence. It is so nice in here. This suite has a lot. I will try to remember everything. So we have the living room, of course. There's also a study room. There is the master bedroom. There's an exercise area with your own treadmill. There's also a ensuite bathroom and there's a walk-in wardrobe. Right up here next to me, there is a dining room with a full kitchen. And best of all, outside, you have your own private balcony. For me, this is the best feature of this presidential suite. The balcony out here is huge. If you're wondering what this door is for back here, it's for your butler. The hotel also has a three floor rooftop bar called Spectrum Lounge and Bar. I had a great day today. I do believe that this was my most enjoyable day pass yet. So thank you very much to the Hyatt Regency Bangkok Sukhumvit for hosting me, as well as to Daily Pass for making this possible. As always, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of more reviews like this. Also like and please do comment. Your comments help me so much. Even if it's just one single word, just tell me what do you think of this review, what do you think of this hotel and what else would you like to see.